do. Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I am continuing on with my spring cleaning series and today I am tackling our two bathrooms. We have two bathrooms in our home. This is our master bathroom right here and then my boys have a bathroom which is also our guest bathroom. So to get started I am getting these really dirty shower curtains taken down and putting those in the washing machine to get those going while I clean the rest of the bathroom. And I'm also going to just toss these old shower curtain liners so that I can replace those when I put them back up as well. I want you for myself every single day. I had not washed our shower curtains in several months and you could definitely tell there were definitely some spots that needed to be spot treated so I used my OxyClean stain stick which works wonders on spots and I got everything out that I wanted to so I will leave a link to that down below. You make me smile, what is it that you do? I like to pre-treat things and kind of let them soak. So I use this Method toilet bowl cleaner and then I also went ahead and used my shower and tub cleaner, which I use Clorox. It's just what works for our house and it gets all of the soap scum and everything off. So that's what I use. And I just sprayed everything down so that it could soak and just let that cleaner work. I just wanna love you. If you have boys, then you know how gross a boy's toilet can get. Uh, my boys are five and nine, and so I could probably clean this bathroom three or four times a day, and it still would be gross, um, but I don't do that. Definitely don't do that, but um, I just like to take the Clorox wipe and wipe everything down. I do try and do that pretty frequently, but I needed to give it a really good deep clean and kind of get in those crevices and everything. And so I did what I could with the Clorox wipe. And then you will see here in a minute that I ended up getting out my steam shot steamer to really give everything a good deep clean. I just want to love you, just want to hold you, just want to be with you till we grow old. Because our floors are kind of that brown tan color, you cannot see how much nastiness is coming out from underneath this toilet, but I will just tell you it's a lot of gross stuff. So this steamer was a new purchase at the beginning of the year, and I really like it. I have found a lot of different uses for it, and I'm getting my money's worth from it for sure. So I will leave a link for it down below, but if you don't have a steamer, don't feel bad. Just get down in there and clean with what you have. I also really like these Clorox, I can't remember what they're called, just they're like the little um, dots that you put in your toilet and I feel like they really keep it a lot fresher. So after I finished with the toilet, I got working on the tub. Everybody's singing oh, everybody's singing oh. I feel like I'm really good at cleaning my bathrooms pretty much weekly and cleaning the tub and the toilet and the sink, but there are definitely some spaces that I don't get to very often and the vents are one of them. So this needed to be tackled and cleaned out and I just used an e-cloth to wipe everything down and get all of the dust and grime off. And I also tackled things like our shower head. I used this Rubbermaid scrubber with just a little bit of cleaner on it and cleaned out the shower head and then once that was done i also ended up wiping down a lot of our fixtures just with our e-cloth i don't tackle those things very often um they're one of those things i feel like that kind of get forgotten about but when i do my spring cleaning i try to always tackle those things and get them nice and polished as long as we're together everything will do you got me going on I 
found a new scent of the Method Glass Cleaner, which is my favorite cleaner, and it's kind of like a spearmint scent. I will try and find it and link it below. I think I found mine at Target, but it kind of goes in and out of stock. I think everybody else likes it just as much as I do, so if I can find a link for you guys, I will leave it down below because it smells so good and so fresh and so clean, and it is perfect for like this spring-summer transition time. When I look at you smile, I don't know how, but it feels like I'm drunk on you. It feels like I'm drunk on you. It feels like I'm drunk on you. Another area I definitely don't tackle as often as I should is wiping down our cabinets. My boys brush their teeth here and wash their hands, and so these cabinets really take a beating on a regular basis. So I probably should wipe these down at least once a week, and I probably only get to it every few months. So I decided to go ahead and tackle this today as well. Let me love you. So small, watch the clock ticking off the wall. But tonight, I'm letting it go. Spend my coin for sure. I'm gonna be myself, or I could be someone else. No one's stopping me now. I'm gonna skip my breaks. I'm gonna make since I was washing our shower curtain, I also went ahead and grabbed a new shower curtain liner at Target to go ahead and make everything fresh and clean all at the same time. So I hung that up and then I, all I needed to do in this bathroom was tackle the floors and it would be all finished. And here is the finished product. It looks so much better and it smells so much better and it will only last about five minutes because I have boys. <laughs> but then it was time to move on to our bathroom, our master bathroom, which isn't a huge space. It is just a standing shower and then we have a double sink and a small closet and that's it. So it's not a large master bathroom by any means but we are very very thankful to have our own space so i began by going ahead and taking out everything out of the shower and then just spraying down the shower to let it soak and let the cleaner do its thing i'm gonna skip my breaks i'm gonna make mistakes i just want to feel alive I then moved over to the toilet area. We have these floating shelves above our toilet, so I went ahead and just wiped the shelves down. They definitely get forgotten about often. Um, I definitely dust my house pretty regularly, but for some reason these shelves are a space that I definitely forget all the time. So they needed to be dusted, and then I went ahead and moved on to wiping down some other surfaces in this area. Nothing can break me, no, no, nothing can break me Look at the beautiful stars, I wanna drive a faster car I'm gonna be myself, I'm gonna be someone else I'm gonna be myself, I'm gonna be someone else I'm gonna skip my breaks, I'm gonna make mistakes I'm gonna skip my breaks, I'm gonna make mistakes I'm gonna be myself, I'm gonna be someone else I'm gonna be myself, I'm gonna be someone else Again, I used the Method Toilet Bowl Cleaner, which I really like. It doesn't have the harshest chemical smell as some of the other toilet bowl cleaners and I feel like it does an adequate job or just as adequate of a job as something like Lysol or Clorox but I definitely grabbed from my Clorox wipes to wipe down the toilet on the outside. Baseboards are a space that I forget about often, so I needed to wipe down all of our baseboards in this bathroom. I grabbed my e-cloth and got it wet and just 
got everything off pretty easily. I love these e-cloth rags. They work so well. There's very minimal scrubbing and you don't have to use any kind of chemicals or spray. You can just wipe everything down with water. I will leave an affiliate link down below. It is, um, it is an affiliate link, so I do make a very small commission if you guys order through that link but it does not cost you anything extra so it's just a very small way that you can support my channel just thinking we would do this until we couldn't do it each and every high every night with you you and me so clueless we were just broken shattered singing along to nothing matters straight around like Once my shower was clean, I went ahead and hung back up the shower curtain liner. One tip that I do have for hanging up a shower curtain liner is if you guys wash it, just dry it for five or 10 minutes to get the wrinkles kind of released from it, and then hang it up while it's still damp. That way it doesn't shrink and it's not too short for your shower or your bathtub. And then it can kind of dry hanging up and all of the wrinkles can fall out of it. I wish I could say that I cleaned these more often, but there was a lot of scrubbing that had to happen on these light fixtures this time. It had probably been close to a year since I'd wiped these down, and that's super embarrassing to say, but they were covered in dust and grime, and they looked so much better, and the lights were so much brighter once everything was done, so I need to tackle these more often. And I just worked my way down from the light fixtures and then I tackled my mirror and then I went ahead and moved on to my sink and my lower cabinets. I really like to work from top to bottom so that all the dust falls off and then I just finish off with my floors at the end. The sun's going down as I try to make my You can tell this is my makeup cabinet because there's definitely some hand print spots from my hands handling it that had makeup on them. So I needed to wipe all of this down. Um, I chalk painted these cabinets not long after we moved in, probably three plus years ago, and it's held up really well, um, but I definitely have to wipe them down pretty regularly. I've not chalk painted any of my other cabinets. I uh, will leave a link below to a blog post that I wrote on how I painted our kitchen cabinets. Um, but again, I, I think that this was good. I don't know that I would do this in a kitchen though, because I don't think that the chalk paint, um, is as washable as some other paints. So. The 
the final step was to use my Rubbermaid Reveal Mop to just clean the floors. I love this mop. It's such a good spot mop to clean things really quickly. And that is it. This bathroom is clean. It feels so much better to have these two big tasks marked off my spring cleaning to-do list. If you guys got some cleaning motivation today, please, please, please hit that thumbs up button so that I know that you like this kind of video. And don't forget to subscribe so that you don't miss any of my future videos. I make videos on cleaning, organizing, simple living, and decluttering. So if that is your thing, hit that subscribe button and I will see you guys in my next video. Have a great day, guys. Bye-bye.